hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. Sticks here. And we're playing Monster in a World. You're in a world full of monsters. I am, dude. There's monsters all over the place, dude. And I am here to inseminate them all. Wow. <laughs> as, a, as a female character, that's going to be hard. Yeah, I'm going to shove this freaking beetle gourd up their butts, dude. That's what I do. <laughs> that's your that's your monster inseminate? Yeah. <laughs> There's a name for those things, an ovipositor. What is that? Whoa. <laughs> Something you inseminate an animal with? I'm actually not really cool with the way that that just rolled off of my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> like you just like talk about them all the time? Yeah. So like, okay, so an ovipositor is something that deposits eggs into the female. Okay, for like a, for like an in, in vitro or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Like an artificial I guess it's not really an insemination thing, but it is. It's essentially like a long tube, and then you, you just kind of like squeeze the eggs in. Oh, like a turkey baster. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> okay. I mean, they can be, they come in many different forms. So, yes, <laughs> the, the, yours is just as valid as the ideal I have in my head. Now, the thing is, Jonas, is that they have these for, uh, for your everyday, you know, house mom, soccer mom out yeah. there. Sometimes I just like the feeling of uh, pushing an egg out of their bodies. So they have these things called ovipositors, which can, you know, you can put fake and or real eggs into. I would assume. Like, a, like are you talking about like, like human eggs or like a, chi <laughs> like a chicken egg? <laughs> well, generally, Jonas, not that I know yeah, any right. of this, right, but right. gen generally... The ovipositor set playset comes with <laughs> the playset. <laughs> it comes with different attachments. It comes with the uh, the eggs that are usually just like you know uh, they're like egg shaped pieces of plastic and you know like wait so they're like this is like a um th is this or, is there a medical reasoning to this or is this like a sex toy a medical is it a sex Toy, they just want to like put plastic eggs inside them and push them out. It's, I mean, there may be some some degree of pleasure that a person could achieve from pushing an egg what out. If they're of like the, vibrating and stuff. What do you mean? If what's vibrating? A vibrating egg. Why? Why are you tossing Whoa. things on the egg? There's our Muppet boy. Oh, yuck! Dude. All right, so yeah, we tried to fight the Muppet yesterday. Nothing happened, and then we talked about jams and jellies for like ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so now we're fighting them. That is gross. What's gross? He's just like he has like a big old belly, and he just like pukes on you. Jonas, he can't help. He's like belly. a lizard. He has a thyroid issue. He has a thyroid. Ew, that's really weird. He doesn't look so much like a muppet now, but he, yeah, he does. <laughs> the hair, dude. Yeah, dude, that's really ew. But that's uh, yeah, the... so ovipositors are a real thing, Jones. You gotta watch out for that kind of so, stuff. So like, are they like? Here's what I'm picturing. Yeah. Like an Easter egg that has like candy inside, like that size egg, like that's what they're putting inside themselves. Okay, so I want you to picture like uh, picture like an elephant's trunk. Okay. But made out of like yoga mat material, kind of. Okay. okay. And then picture like one of those plastic eggs that you would get out of like the vending machine. That yeah, like an Easter egg. Yeah, but a little bit bigger okay. and. Uh, Picture like you know, the one end of the elephant's trunk is is just open, and you just kind of like it's like a funnel. Yeah, well, not you're kind of like a funnel, more like a uh, funnel tube. Yeah, like a tube. It's just like a tube, and you just kind of like you lube the eggs up because you know obviously you gotta. And you just thunk. And you just kind of like put them in. Do you blow on the other end. To you like don't blow. <laughs> <laughs> not an indigenous defense device, <laughs> but you kind of uh. You just kind of like get the eggs in there and then you put them, you know, in whatever orifice you wish to put the eggs into. And Is that how they do the gerbil thing? Oh, my God, Jonas. I don't even know. That You know, it may be. <laughs> it may very well be, sir. I just like was like, wait. I don't know what the gerbil thing is. You might have to explain <laughs> that one to me. I already brought up ovipositors. There's no way I'm just going to claim knowledge of all this craziness dude <laughs> I don't think that's the gerbil thing oh it was from an old video like an old Newgrounds video I know what you're talking about that was like the the basis of memes back yeah. in the day 
I know, dude. We were there at the inception of memes. Yep, the dancing baby, peanut butter jelly time, uh, <laughs> the gerbil hamster dance. The hamster dance is what it was, yeah. Yeah. Potatoes. Nah, memes were out by then. Yeah. This is, you gotta go back to, like, Newgrounds area, yeah. like Homestar Runner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those were, like, memes. Yeah, dude. dude. In their beginning, yeah, in their was... infancy. Baby memes. Baby. Little baby memes. <laughs> oh, I thought you I thought you were into like baby memes. No, I'm like, wait, no. what? There's baby memes? No, now? no, no, no. Like as Like a, I know baby Yoda and baby nut. Yeah. But no, no. Nobody like baby nut, Jonas. I don't even know what baby nut is, that's just, so that's probably why. So don't you have uh we don't have Disney Plus, do you? No. I'm not. I'm not. Even All right. So I'm not really into like Disney or Disney Plus or anything. And I'm not gonna purchase it. But I did have the opportunity to watch a couple things on it, and I watched The Mandalorian. It's actually pretty good, Jonas. It's enjoyable. All right. Um. And there's a there's an entity in it, Baby Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. I and saw that, and that blew up. Like, yes. For a minute. Now it's dead, I think. But uh, it, yeah, it's not. It's not going as strong as it was. So of course, me being myself, I thought that Baby Yoda was just like I'm like, oh my god, it's stupid, dude. Who, who cares? It's the Baby Yoda, right? You know, this thing is the cutest goddamn thing you've ever seen in your life. Is it? It's freaking adorable. It fit. They don't ham fist it into your throat throughout the series. It's just a fun. It's just a fun show. And I hate it when people say it's a fun show, but for you, it's a fun show. <laughs> so, like, weeks after, you know, the whole Baby Yoda thing blew up, then Mr. Peanut, they killed Mr. Peanut. Mr. P like, for planners? Yes. They killed Mr. How Peanut. How did they kill him? Because they were going to replace him with a new mascot, Jonas. This mascot, could you stop slamming the ground, like a Baby please? Nut. This mascot, Jonas, Baby Nut. Dude, I didn't want that. And nobody wanted it, Jonas. Dude, they were Mr. like, "Mr. Peanuts, like iconic." Yeah, Jonas. Well, guess what? Things change, all right? Yeah, dude. We fear change. Did the I, baby I, I don't fear change. I'm fine with it. But nobody liked Baby Nut, dude, because it was like you're obviously just trying to like build off of the success of uh, Baby Yoda. Yeah. Did he have a monocle? <laughs> I've actually never seen Baby Nut. I, I just know the story. I just know the story. Did right? they bring back the other guy then? Did they bring back what other guy, Mr. Peanut? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Probably, I would think. But I can't tell you 100%. Baby, Mr. Peanut. I don't oh, my <laughs> God. He did not have a monocle in it. He didn't have a monocle, Jonas? He was... Okay, hold on. It's just like it's just like a little peanut with a top hat. But he did have a top hat. But no yeah. myopia. That's, nah, dude, that's no, unfortunate, yeah, see? Yeah, no, uh, no monocle. That's unfortunate. Yeah, dude. You gotta have some degree of I mean, maybe, visual maybe impairment. These do not have a monocle. He had a top hat like Mr. Peanut, but like... No. Dude. I'm sorry. I like my nuts visually impaired. I, <laughs> I do. I do. Call me, a, call me a, a, a fascist, Jonas. Yeah, dude. Call me one. How do you get rid of Mr. Peanut, though? Like, for I real? don't know. I, like, can, wait, let me see a picture of it because I've never seen this. A baby nut? Yeah, dude, oh, okay, I've never seen on, this me, entity. I, I, I've moved on. All right, hold you on. You moved on? <laughs> yeah, hold on a second. Right back in porn, huh? <laughs> You're like, all right, I've looked up baby nut now. That is awful. That is awful, Jonas. That is not the nut we need. Yeah, dude, when I, when I, when I think about nut... I don't think about I that nut. I need a nut. big, strong, forceful nut. I need an adult nut, right? <laughs> I don't want baby nut at all. Right, dude. I nut need an adult nut with vision issues and a flair and for ec eccentric headwear. And strength, yeah. And strength? <laughs> yeah, he needs to be strong, dude. <laughs> I never really looked at Mr. Peanut as, like, a candidate for weightlifting, though, man. He just... <laughs> He's a strong, virile nut, dude. Dude, this thing is so big. It's freaking Muppet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't like when they do stuff like that. Like, if you're gonna change your mascot, change it. Don't make it just a baby. If you're gonna change it, change it. <laughs> right, dude. Don't like pee foot around. Well, I don't know what else you could really make a mascot, Jonas. What's okay, Jonas? Boom. Hot topic question. What's the mascot for Jonas? For me? Yeah. Um. God, I don't know. I don't deserve one. Would it be just like a? Uh, Wow, I kind of see like 
Hmm. I kind of see like a, a horse, a stallion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see a stallion, Jonas. Wow. And I see him with like two other female horses with like bows in their head. This is what I see on your banner. Okay. And then I see... I see gimp masks, Jonas. Gimp masks. All right. <laughs> on both of the female horses. Okay. Because we we all know you you and you and that freaky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got some horses with gimp masks and bows in their hair somehow with a gimp mask on. That works. <laughs> all right, I'm done. <laughs> That's it. I I think yours would be I I I think of like a a bundle of dynamite, but with arms and legs. But okay. the mu- arms and legs are like really strong because like might is spelled might, not ooh, mu- like dynamite. Ooh. And then like, and then he has like a. Uh, like he's like the head. There's like a head, but like where the hair is is more like the sparks on the dynamite. Okay, is and it a baby? Uh, what? No, is no, it it's a baby full mite? strong man dynamite. No, okay. it's, it's like a cartoon person dynamite it's... with big muscles because <laughs> it's mighty. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just being an ass. All right, on the next episode. <laughs> that is all the time we have for oh, this episode. Oh man! Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, tell everyone you know to come here. And watch. <laughs> Why? Why do they tell them to do this? Because we're good. <laughs> Why would you do this to your friends? <laughs> I don't you know, know, dude. Hey, April Fools. Yeah. <laughs> Get them. Right. right, right. But for um, Jonas, TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are uh, out. Uh,